I'm going to show you how to set up static IP addresses if you're using G1100. This is what it looks like from the side, the back, and the front. Go ahead and open any web browser. I'm using Firefox. Go to 192.168.1.1. It will ask you for your main login for your router. After logging in, click on Advanced. Go down to IP version 4 address distribution. Click on DHCP leases. Click on the new devices that you want to be static. Go ahead and check the box where it says static lease type. Click on apply. This will make sure that this device with this IP address of 192.168.121 will stay the same IP address no matter what. Even after a router reboot, it will stay with the same IP address of 21. Be sure to click on apply. Now, what if your device has already been assigned with an IP address of 101 and you don't like it? Go ahead and click on add static connection. It's all the way down near the bottom. Manually enter everything in. You'll want to enter the name. You can enter whatever you want, the IP address that you want. So if you don't want the 101, go ahead and type in 192.168.1 and 200 or whatever number that you want. Make sure that you got the MAC address correct. The MAC address can be found from the previous page and then click on apply. To be sure what model you have, click on system monitoring, go down to model name, and here you can see that it is indeed the Fios G1100, which is the default Wi-Fi router. Just to be sure that we're on the same page, this is what your setup should look like. You have your Verizon Fios modem. A slim wire is feeding into it from the outside. Then there should be a Cat5 or Cat6 cable going into your G1100. This is the cheapest Wi-Fi router that's available from Verizon in the case you rent it from Verizon, which I highly don't recommend. This router is not very good because it's not frequently updated with security patches. So I highly recommend you buy a Netgear instead. This is what I'm using in my own house. The router is very good. It has tons of features, much, much more features than the G1100. It gets frequent update. In addition, you can always flash your own firmware. So you can do VLAN, for instance. Now, why on earth would you want static IP addresses? Wouldn't that cost you more headaches? Well, the reason being is that when we're doing smart home automations, we need to know all of the device's IP addresses. You can think of IP addresses as phone numbers. How do you call Bob? Suppose Bob's phone number is 1001. If you want to dial his number, it's 1001. What if he changes his phone numbers constantly? Then you can never reliably get him in touch. This is why we need a signed IP address because we want to contact other devices on the network reliably. So for home automation, it's very crucial that our router set up static IP addresses to various devices in the house. So that way you can control the TV, PC, the doorbell, or even your phone remotely via these static IP addresses. Hopefully this helps with your home automations. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching.